How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches. Today, I have found a video which the title just took my interest immediately, as I think it will you. And the title of this video is Remove My Genitals to Make Me a Genderless Alien. Wow. And you were all shocked with non binary. <laughs> So I have no idea what this is about. I, I believe it's about uh, a young man who is trying to become an extraterrestrial. Not just any extraterrestrial though, a genderless extraterrestrial. So let's watch, shall we? I see my life progressing to a more otherworldly luck. 23 year old Vinny O is making it his mission to become a real life alien. You look like everyone else in LA. The amount of people I see like that in LA is crazy. <laughs> I feel like the unnormal one when I'm in LA. Fuck off. Fuck off. There's a moth. It's trying to kill me. Gah! Die. Get off me. Die. Ah, no, fuck. Fuck. No. You see that shit? My goal in regards to my look is to become an exact scientific, proportioned, sexless human being. Scientific. You know, what you would have said, uh, you know, you could have got away with whatever you wanted to. Um, but when you brought science into it, <laughs> you just like, you kind of failed there. I'm going to kill that fucking moth. There's no way you can scientifically be anything else other than a human. I mean, you can, you can spray paint yourself black and white and douse yourself in fur and say I'm a fucking panda but you're not gonna be biologically a panda you're gonna be a human and who's to know what aliens look like if an alien came down do you honestly think they'd look like that no they probably don't <laughs> I moved to LA at a really young age and moving here everything was always about sex appeal and when I think of alien I think of like Ugly, like, aliens don't really have genders, in my eyes at least. We don't fucking know that! <laughs> Ask Ridley Scott what aliens are like. The thing is, this guy is going, I don't know what he's basing his look off. He's saying that, he's talking like he knows what aliens look like and what they are. I guess in, in film and throughout history, they've been portrayed as very ugly usually gray big eyes you know the the, the alien grays this guy looks like a flamingo on fucking crack and i just i connected with it since moving to la Vinny has found new motivation and belonging in his pursuit of alien perfection is he holding a piece of salmon where his junk is is that salmon or ham do aliens just have salmon instead of a penis I'm learning so much. And through his work as a makeup artist. Yeah, because I'm sure all extraterrestrials uh, partner with L'Oreal. <laughs> to get my alien look, I spent around about 60,000. Jesus! 60! 60! That's a fucking small house! 60,000 pounds to look like an, an alien! They don't even know what they really fucking look like! Wow. Look, even that Teddy's fucking shocked. I've had around about 110 procedures. Three surgeries, 110 procedures. You don't look like an alien. You just look like a, like a, f <laughs> a, a person that's very eccentric. You're no different from like a, a goth or, or anyone else. You just look, I, I, when I look at you, I don't think alien. I think, wow, his hair is fabulous. But now Vinny wants to push his plastic surgery journey even further to where no man or woman has ever gone before. I'm looking to have gender unassignment. Is there so Is there <laughs> gender unassignment? Okay, I'm gonna leave that one there. Years <laughs> ago? Whoa. Me being celibate is my way to be at peace with myself and my body on this process. I want to support you through that process. You know, I, I'm concerned with the cycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's extraterrestrial right there, isn't it? Doing what every fucking human being on Instagram does. Peace sign, tongue out. Why? What is it? I, I'm sorry. Every time I go on Instagram, it's either a fucking meme, which is just pissing me off now. I've had enough of memes, okay? 
you're getting a picture of Drake going and then labeling it when you forget your homework. <laughs> like, it's not funny. I'm laughing because I, I thought what I said was funny. <laughs> but it's true. I've had enough of fucking memes. You just grab a picture of anything nowadays and you, you slap a title on it. 100,000 likes. So funny. Or it's either people doing that with their tongue out all the time. Why are people putting their tongues out? Put your tongue away. It's, it's not, you know, people didn't sit for oil paintings in the olden days like this. If you've... <laughs> I see fucking Shakespeare writing his next play like <laughs> Put your tongues away. Yeah. But ever since I was sixteen I wanted to adopt kids outside I of the system. Some. I really have Yeah, from fucking Jupiter. <laughs> there's there's even any life on Jupiter. But the more and more we talk about it, the more it actually feels like this is actually truly what he needs and wants to be more authentically him. The mind does work in mysterious ways, you know. In all seriousness, I I just... This is making him happy. And it's very diff difficult for people to understand because, you know, he looks very extreme, you know? A lot of people, when they dye their hair blue, and you're like, Shit! Tim, you, you, you dyed your hair blue! Wow, man! Like, that's enough to, to put people in a talking mode, you know? But, you know, this guy's going all the way, and... I understand his sister's concerns. Like, what if he does lop it all off and he does all this stuff and then one day he realises he's not happy with how he looks. Like, and there's no going back from that. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a tricky one. When I tell doctors my goals, they typically will, like, giggle, not think I'm serious, rush me out of their office, find, like, another excuse, tell me I need to go see a therapist. You nice know. to meet Hi, you. Hi, how are you? you? Nice to meet you. Come with me, please. Yeah. So first let's start with why- Okay, doctor, when you have your own wobble head of yourself on your desk and hands, hand cream, one one does wonder if you're alright. <laughs> why has he got- Someone bought him that, they must have. If he got that himself, then it's just, I'm sorry. You know, that's just- I think he's a little bit obsessed with himself. Um, I've been wanting to have this done because for many reasons. First of all, I don't use my genitals. I'm. You kind of do. You, you, you do. You do pee out them. I'm like into transitioning, but I never really wanted to be a woman. That's not, I, I think that's kind of an easy way out. I feel, what is that pose? What is that? Alien taking a shit? Like, I don't understand what he's trying to achieve with that picture. Looks like someone's kicked him in the balls and paused the video. To take to consideration, the psychological aspects of it as much as the medical aspects of it. My main problem with his procedure was that what he's gonna think about in 10, 15 years because all the bridges are gone. There's no This is the problem. Like, as a doctor, I probably wouldn't do this surgery because, you know, it is true. If you are to... Oh man, I've got a point and I don't think I can make it because whenever I talk about this subject and, you know, how I see it, <laughs> I get slated. I'm, I'm just gonna half say it, okay, because I don't want to upset anyone. Basically, when you don't, when you actually, when you actually don't have a gender or the hormones that coincide with either being male or female in your body, the brain, like the doctor just said, like lopping it all off and taking it all away, so there's just a hole there to pee out of. The mind and how his body and behavior, like it could, it could destroy him, quite literally destroy him. You take it all away and it really can cause so many different behavioral problems, which is why um, in the past when I've talked about things like non-binary and people saying that they don't have a gender, they don't have anything, they don't feel anything, they're just nothing, like, they, they have to be, because otherwise, you know, they would have serious mental problems, you know? I understand what the doctor's saying completely, and I understand why doctors are not touching people like this, because he could regret it, as well as the mental side effects of this surgery. He could regret it deeply, and then who's he gonna blame? Doctor who buys bubbleheads of himself. <laughs> I personally love Venus look, because I always like people that they don't look normal. What's that look like? So if I wanted to date you, I just gotta walk down the road like this. <laughs> yeah. Of course. I totally believe in aliens. 
there are definitely aliens out there. Are they here? Am I in communication with them? You'll just have to wait and find out. Did it, what? what? Did he just say, am I in communication with them? Like a cliffhanger. Yeah, go go see a therapist. <laughs> Am I in communication with them? What does what does that mean? Okay, so in short, the, it literally is like the title. He wants to lose his genitalia and become an alien, a genderless alien. I don't understand. I mean, I don't understand a fucking lot, but you know, I I don't understand why he wants to be a genderless alien. Why not just an alien? Why does it have to be a genderless alien? It almost seems to me like he's taken this non-binary. Uh, trans fluid all this all these new things coming out of the internet and he and he's 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 gone to the next level he's like right everyone's doing this so i'm going to be there like it's it's like a it's like a fucking popularity contest who can be the most unique i just believe what my granddad used to say like daz you can get a fucking tattoo cut your hair how you want do what you want make yourself a genderless alien i mean he didn't say that part <laughs> But at the end of the day, you are as unique as the fingerprints on your fingers. No one has those. You are you, and that's it. So there you go. There's, there's no one like Daz. I am the only uh, Daz. I mean, I know there are other Dazzes out there, but I am the only me Daz. That make fucking sense. Well, I hope he finds happiness and finds a person who's willing to take his junk off. And I hope mentally... He's prepared for what he's done afterwards. I hope it doesn't screw him up and I hope he just finds happiness at the end of the day. Let me know what you think in the comments of this, guys. Like, love, caress my channel. If you are in touch with aliens and they look like that, tell them to, to come and cut my hair because that that's some fabulous shit right there. And I will see you in the next video. Stay dazzling.